Ecological disasters, climate change, hunger, overpopulation, shortage of resources. Can planet Earth still be saved or is it too late? Scientist Dennis L. Meadows already asked this question 40 years ago. I came back to MIT, walked into the office on Monday, and it was announced that a group I never heard about before, the Club of Rome, would be coming to MIT to learn about our computer modeling methods because they were interested in doing some kind of global study. What is the Club of Rome? The Club of Rome members are politicians, scientists, economists, financial experts and writers from around the world. Their common aim? Concern and responsibility for humanity's future. The Club of Rome is trying to find out how our life on Earth will develop and how to ensure a future worth living in. In 1972, Dennis Meadows was the first to be assigned with such future studies, financed by Volkswagen Foundation. Then I put together a team of 16 people and we worked for uh, almost two years and produced the work. Limits to growth was not the goal of the project. The goal was a very big scientific report and Limits was written uh, as a afterthought what is Limits to Growth? Limits to Growth is the summary of a complex study on the key question What will our future look like if the world population keeps growing? And industrialization, pollution, food production and exploitation of natural resources continue unabated. A completely novel question in 1972. Following economic growth and increasing prosperity in the 50s and 60s, the upward trend seemed unlimited. Meadows' team simulated the seemingly limitless growth in a complicated computer model, with revolutionary results. What we said is that exponential growth will take us to the limits very soon. Actually, if you look at our book, our 1972 book, although we showed many different scenarios, all of them show that growth stops sometime in the period of 2020 to, let's say, 2060. So, soon. Where does growth reach its limit? Suddenly, it was obvious. The planet's wealth is limited. The unabated use of oil and natural resources, clearing of forests and overfishing will result in the extinction of species and the disappearance of landscapes. Our planet can only take so much harmful emissions like CO2 without any long-term damage. So there are limits to what our planet can endure without grave consequences. All ecological movements founded in the 70s used limits to growth as the basis of their reasoning. At that time, Meadows felt the limit hadn't yet been reached, but we have long since exceeded it, as global warming and rising sea levels show. So now what? Will the current ideas about green industry and uh, qualitative growth avoid collapse? No possibility. Absolutely no possibility of that. Why not? Why won't we avoid collapse? Well, uh, many reasons, but one of them is that globally we are something like 60 or 70 percent above sustainable levels, even making very optimistic calculations about what is sustainable. Have we learned nothing since the 70s? We have. People's awareness has changed. Sustainability is the slogan of modern development and environmental policies. The Western industrial nation's promotion of environment-friendly production is a step in the right direction, but according to Meadows, it won't suffice to prevent the collapse. So, what else can we do, Mr. Meadows? Will it be possible here in Germany to continue this level of energy consumption 
and this degree of material welfare? Absolutely not. Not in the United States, not in uh, other countries either. Could you change your cultural and your social norms in a way that gave a attractive future? Yes, you could. It will be in a future which much lower energy and material use, but of course, most of the important things in life don't require energy and material. They're knowledge, uh, learning, uh, music. These are things which can be done with much lower levels of energy and material flow. Will you choose to do that? I don't see any reason to think that you will. It, it seems to me the leaders of the West, of the industrialized West, are desperately trying to do everything they can to maintain the current situation. So that means you won't avoid the collapse. 